A vaccine is showing promise and staving off the return of one of the most deadly forms of cancer. It was used in what scientists are calling a new landmark study in tailoring cancer vaccines to the tumors of individual patients. The vaccine provoked an immune response in half of the pancreatic cancer patients treated during a recent clinical trial. What's more, these people showed no relapse of the cancer during the course of the year's long study. Joining us now is Dr. Vinod Balachandran. He is an attending surgeon at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and led the team behind this pancreatic cancer vaccine trial. Uh, Dr. Balachandran, this is the first trial ever to test mRNA vaccines as a potential therapy for pancreatic cancer. It is potentially a game changer, but when most people think of vaccines, they're thinking of preventative treatments. Explain why these vaccines in particular um, are so effective potentially in battling this deadly disease in people who have already had cancer. Right. I think this is an important question, and what we have learned about how the immune system recognizes a cancer in contrast to how the immune system recognizes, for example, a virus, is that the immune system uh, recognizes uh, individual patients' cancers in unique ways. So to teach the immune system to recognize a patient's own cancer requires an individualized vaccine with uh, made from the patient's uh, own uh, tumor. Now, in this uh, clinical trial, we were studying how to use vaccines to possibly prevent or delay uh, pancreatic cancers from coming back after surgery, so secondary prevention, if you will. And we think these will hopefully provide some important clues on how we can use vaccines to even go further into primary prevention in the future. Well, especially when it comes to pancreatic cancer, this is so important because it is one of the most deadly forms of cancer. It's expected to lead to the deaths of more than 50,000 people in the U.S. this year alone. Talk to us about why pancreatic cancer is so difficult to treat and why summoning people's own T cell production uh, through this vaccine might be the key. Right. So as you mentioned, pancreatic cancer is a deadly cancer, soon to become the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States by 2025. So more cancer deaths uh, from pancreatic cancer than from several other common cancers, such as uh, colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, so second only to lung cancer. And part of the reason why this is the case is because the current treatments that we have for pancreatic cancer, which include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, are not very effective. Despite these best current treatments, around 88% of pancreatic cancer patients die. So this really points to an urgent need for a new treatments for pancreatic cancer patients. And this was our initial motivation when we started thinking about new ways to harness the immune system to fight pancreatic cancer. This was now work that we started around eight years ago on this. Well, it is really at the forefront, potentially, of a major medical breakthrough. I want to caution all of our, our, our viewing audience to explain that this is really at the very beginning of it. This study only involved 16 patients, and your team, of course, could not entirely rule out that other factors might have contributed to the positive results. But what immediately came to my mind when I was reading about your research is that the the science behind it potentially might go beyond just pancreatic cancer to become more individualized treatments or preventative treatments in the form of a vaccine writ large, something that looks a little bit more like an HPV vaccine. Is that within the realm of possibility? And what does the timeline look like? Right. And I think you brought up uh, several important points there. This is a early phase one a clinical trial uh, where we cannot test causation, uh, whether the vaccine is um, going to actually delay uh, pancreatic cancers from um, recurring after surgery. So what we have is a very um, exciting correlation that we are looking forward to now testing in more pancreatic cancer patients in the future. But we also are excited by the possibility that this could 
hopefully open up us understanding on newer ways to harness the immune system to fight other very difficult to treat cancers such as pancreatic cancer for which uh, current treatments, including current immune therapies, have not shown um, efficacy. Very exciting. Dr. Vinod Balachandran, thank you. Thanks for having me.